Here I am again trying to edit this hockey history video I've been trying to get out for the past two weeks and Matthew Kachuk gets traded. This is absolutely insane. Another off script type of video. The trade details just broke. I'm just hopping on the mic. This is insane. So am I bummed that Kachuk is gone? Yes, I am. But when you look at this return, it's massive i thought we were gonna get kairu a prospect like a first round pick and something else and call it a day that's what everyone was thinking jonathan huberto what jonathan huberto i think maybe this year or a couple years ago was top three or near the top three of the heart trophy voting huberto's play style he's so electric he's so smart underrated it's incredible here i am thinking this last week Oh my god, the flames are gonna stink. I didn't know what to expect. I thought it was gonna be Lin Holm by himself. Maybe put the Foley and Majapani on there. But Jonathan Huberto, it's insane. Let me break down the entire details. As I was getting ready to record, more kind of came out, so I'm glad I actually kind of waited. Per Frank Cerevelli, the Florida Panthers receive Matthew Kachuk with an extension. And the flames get Jonathan Huberto, Mackenzie Weger, Cole Schwint... I hope that's how you pronounce it. And a 2025 first round draft pick. He would later follow it up saying there's an additional fourth going to Florida. We don't know what those conditions are yet. If I find out, I'll leave them in the comments and pin it. And the 2025 first round pick is lottery protected, which is completely fine. I was sitting clowning on Tree Living all over Twitter and this happens. Listen, man, Matthew Kitchuk is what literally made this channel. He was my favorite player. I saw him get drafted. I saw his whole career up to this point. Matthew Kachuk was my favorite player, and I see a lot of these people being like, oh, Matthew Kachuk is the real snake. He just wanted money. He took less money than the $11 million the Flames offered him, signed an eight-year extension worth 9.5 mil per Elliot Friedman, so he's getting the bag he rightfully deserves. But the difference between him and Johnny Gaudreau, Kachuk had the class to tell Brad, listen, I'm not going to sign. Trade me, get some assets, and boy did he do. I'm still focus on the fact that we got Huberto. We also have Mackenzie Weger, who is another one of those players extremely underrated, sometimes gets kind of hated on, maybe because his defense is sometimes lacking, so I've heard. I don't really follow the Panthers that closely, and I'm also not too familiar with Schwint, but man, this return is massive. When it first broke, I was thinking, okay, maybe we get Anton Liddell, or maybe we get Grigory Denisenko, a first round pick, but I didn't know who. I personally wanted St. Louis. I wanted Jordan Cairo. Out of all the teams, Seems never did Huberto cross your mind as even a thought process to get shipped off from Florida to Calgary. If you would have put in a mock trade video, Huberto for Kachuk one for one, people probably would have thought that was crazy. But to get him alongside of other assets is massive. Now, there were a couple questions in terms of a Kachuk trade. What would happen here? Obviously, my name is I don't give Kachuk. And now that Kachuk was given away, what next? Happy to say, name will not be changing. We're staying I don't give Kachuk. Everything's staying up it's going to be fine because i don't have hatred for matthew kachuk at all in my opinion he did it the right way he gave the organization a heads up he said listen i'm not gonna sign go out get what you need for me for me i just respect him even more for that i don't know what the status is now in florida because you lose huberto but you get kachuk do people still consider them as good as a contender as they were last year i don't know but man this gives a massive massive morale boost as a calgary flames fan i'm sitting here thinking this team we're gonna be competing for the first overall pick or something now our defensive core gets even stronger replacing eric goodbranson with mackenzie Weger and jonathan huberto on that first line with elias lindholm think about that huberto's defensive mind is just as strong as his offensive awareness elias lindholm had a selkie like season this year and he actually almost won the selkie trophy daryl sutter is a defensive minded coach Huberto is the perfect player for this. You put him on the first line, he has speed, he has skill, he's great in both offensive and defensive ends. This is incredible. If there was any return we could get for Matthew Kachuk, this is the one I would have hoped for. One where Calgary can still come out the winner. Because when you trade away an 104 point producer who had the greatest season of his entire career, most people think you're never gonna win a trade like that. I think this is great for both 
both teams. Kachuk is going to do great in Florida. He got his extension. I wish him the best of luck. I have no ill will for Kachuk at all. I thank him for everything he's done in Calgary. I look forward to seeing what happens in the remainder of his career. I'll still be a Kachuk fan. We're still going to be. I don't give Kachuk. Nothing's going to change. The only thing that is going to change is Jonathan Huberto and Mackenzie Weger will be in Calgary Flame uniforms this season. However, when it comes to extensions, you need to sign Huberto and Weger next season. You need to give them extensions. In my opinion, you don't go out and get Huberto and Weger unless something's already in place to extend them or you know for a fact they're going to sign. That's what I hope for. I hope they stay because man, Jonathan Huberto, that's incredible. And Mackenzie Weger, his presence on the blue line is also going to be known. You can maybe bump Shillington down to the third with Zadorov and put Weger with Tanev. You can really get creative now. And with Huberto, I feel more comfortable with Majapani on that first line spot now than I did thinking about it because a line of Majapani, Lindholm, and Toffoli would be good, but not as good as Manjapani, Lindholm, and Huberto. I am excited to see what happens. I have newfound excitement for this upcoming season. Whenever the Huberto jerseys drop, I am immediately copying one, adding it to my collection. Also, that signed all-star Huberto jersey is looking real nice right now. Thanks, Prestige Auction, for that one. I am going to finally finish editing this video. Brad, Thank you. Do not do anything else unless it's an extension for Huberto or Uyghur. I need to get back to doing my hockey history videos, please. But with that, this is I Don't Give Kachuk, and I'll see you in the next video.